Hi guys, so I did my brows off camera and so now I'm going to go ahead and start with um, the foundation. So as you know, I am reviewing and doing like a live demo of the L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage Foundation. Um, it says that it is a 24 hour foundation. And on the back of it, it says that the finish is a natural finish. You can um, wear it for up to 24 hours. And um, the coverage is high, aka full coverage. And texture is air light, so it's like super light. So for review's sake, um, I wanted to have some more credibility, credibility with this. So I have been wearing it for a week. So um, this review will definitely be based on like actual, like legit review and instead it won't be like, um, you know, just like a live demo or whatever. But I am going to be demoing it for you um, and um, at the end, after everything is done, I will be um, reviewing it. So um, right now it is 5.09 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, I did my eyebrows off camera. And so now I'm going to go ahead and start with um, the product. So um, the product is very like thick and airtight. As you'll see, it's like a mousse. Look at it. It's so thick, like I swear if you left it like this, it would not fall. And so um, I'm using a good amount. Um, I'm not going anywhere, guys. I'm, I'm staying home. <laughs> but for review's sake, I am going to do my makeup and show you guys how it looks. Um, during the week, I have been mixing it with my... Um, Max Studio Fix Fluid and NW47 because this is a little red for me. I think it's actually a little too dark, but for review's sake, I am not going to mix it for demo. I'm not going to mix it. I'm just going to wear it as is. And as you see, I do wear glasses, so um, I have to use a smear here so that way I can apply it evenly. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys. What it looks like when you apply it. I'm not going to mix it. I'm not going to do anything like I've been doing for the past two weeks. I'm going to do it like past week. I'm just going to do it like raw so you guys can see it. So like you see, it is nice and thick. Like it literally will not move anywhere. And um, I have put this foundation on with a um, brush and I don't like the way it applies with the brush. So the Beauty Blender, in my opinion, works amazing for me and I just love it. It's been about a week since I wore this foundation just by itself and I haven't like added anything to it so this is pretty new and guys I'm also gonna just put the foundation on my lips too because I will be wearing a colored lippy um, to stay in the house <laughs> but for review's sake I want to show you guys what it looks like. And um, it's a uh, full coverage foundation, and uh, I'm not going to be concealing. I usually conceal before I add foundation, but for today's video, I'm not. And I actually haven't been, I haven't been concealing um, even, like, going to work and stuff. Like, I've been wearing this foundation by itself because it does such a great job at covering everything. So, and keep in mind, guys, this is not a first impression. It's not whatever... I have been testing it out because I want to make sure you guys are getting the full gist of this foundation and everything and um, the demo so it can be like a legit demo. So I'm just going to go ahead and just apply it in the areas that I didn't. Um, normally I would um, bring it down my neck but today I'm not going to do that. So, yeah. As you can see, like, I started off with dark circles, and the dark circles have sort of vanished, which is really nice. So you don't have to conceal with this foundation. And I like it because it's just, like, a one-stop shop type of deal. Um, so, 
yeah so I'm just gonna go and just like blend in area any areas that I think need blending in <sighs> and um, this is what it looks like plain as you know foundations when you just do foundations it washes you out so I am gonna definitely go in and like do some contouring highlighting nah but just contouring and stuff because remember the goal is to show you guys what it really looks like um like i said i love using the, the beauty blender i was watching aracel bell i'll link her channel below and um she calls it the booty blender i just discovered her and i love her she's awesome but um but yeah like i said apply it to my lips um, Huda Beauty, I remember watching that from Huda Beauty when she's like, when she applies her foundation, she applies it everywhere, including her lips. Um, so, um, as you can see, this is what it looks like right now. I hope the lighting is not, like, terrible. Um, actually, let's do it like this. As you can see, girl, I can't even see. Okay. This is the this is the struggle when you wear glasses for context. As you can see, it's blended in really, really well. That's why I like using the the booty blender. Um, my face is kind of flat. I would not suggest you just go out with just foundation on. Um, I am gonna add some definition to my face. Um, I'm gonna contour using my palette, like my eyeshadow elf palette until I get a real contour palette. And um, I am going to, however, I am going to set my face with this Air, um, Air Spun Loose Face Powder, which I love, guys. I feel like this really helps with the oil. Like, I am oily. Okay. All right, my loves. I will see you back soon. Um, like I said, it is now 5.25 p.m. E.S. Tea. So um, I'll try to come back like four hours from now, but I would definitely let you guys know. So, toodles. See you later. Hi guys, Bianca here again, and um, this is what. Excuse me. So it is 9:33, and I put the foundation. Well, I got finished with the foundation. Um, application at 5.34, so it's been roughly four hours now, um, and I kind of just been home sitting, you know, just chilling, and um, yeah, I'm here to show you guys what it looks like after four hours of wear, so, um, and also want to state my pros and cons, however, like, like I stated before, guys, I have worn this foundation for about a week, so I know how it reacts, and I know how it acts, so this short period of time, honestly, this is how it would look if I wore it all day. Um, as you can see, I am still, um, I didn't add any primer, just did the foundation by itself. Um, I This is the areas where I get oily, so I am a little shiny here. As far as um, laugh lines, it did settle into my laugh lines right here. Um, also, the thing is, what's really nice about this foundation is it feels so light, you barely feel like some, like something is on your face. And I definitely attribute that to the mousse-like um, consistency that it has. So it feels so light, like it barely feels like I have anything on my face. And that's one of the reasons why I love it. Um, like I said, I didn't add any primer or any control, nothing like that. And as you can see, like... Although I'm like greasy, but that's okay. Like something like if I blot, I can fix the problem. I didn't even blot. I didn't even bother with it because when I'm at work, I don't have time to blot. So this is what it looks like. Um, my pros for the foundation is definitely long wearing. Um, one of the nights I was so exhausted after I came to work. I actually fell asleep in my foundation. Ladies, would you believe I woke up the next morning my face will still be yes it didn't move it didn't smudge it wasn't on my pillow like the transfer is like it it barely transfers and i think definitely the setting powder helps with that 
but yeah it stayed on my face so i definitely agree that it is a 24 hour long wear foundation it is a full coverage foundation um i didn't put on any under eye concealer um you can definitely build it up but be careful when you're building it up because if you build it up too much girl you will like open loop but um i like with this foundation i like using a beauty blender i don't like using a brush because i feel like i don't get a nice flawless application with the blush brush it is um, streaky and just too too much product is on the brush when you apply it. So, you know, it makes your face look really red. I love the foundation. It's beautiful. Um, it lasts. Makes my skin look amazing. Have I broken out from the foundation? Probably because I fell asleep in it. I've had some breakouts, but um, yeah. Um, the cons about the foundation is that the color range isn't too wide. And so that's the only thing that... It's not pretty cool about the foundation. Um, another con, that's about it. Um, but I love the foundation. I think it's beautiful. I will definitely buy, I would definitely buy it again. Um, and right now it's become my staple. I love it just as much as I love um, the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Um, but this one is definitely bomb. So if you're interested and if you have combination oily skin like I do, well, mainly oily skin in the T-zone area. Um, I would definitely try this out. Um, what else? And it's a great start of foundation. Just be very careful. Like I showed you guys in the demo, don't apply too much in one spot. Try to move it around and use a booty blender. Like my girl, Iris Bellum, I believe her name is, says um thank you so much guys for watching this channel and um i look forward to seeing you guys soon and i'm gonna wash my makeup off my dress i got did my makeup and everything i don't even want to wear it in the house lips walked off i was eating but i'm really liking this gradient effect that it gets here <sighs> anyways bye bye guys